and 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 or not uh, not knowing, right. because like let's say for example, I'm I'm listening to you and I say, okay, I understand. Let me just be. Okay, I understand that I that I can just be. I don't have to listen to the mind. I'm just going to be. Okay, I, I okay, I'm being, but I don't like being. Yeah, like I don't like this. Well then, well then, what you're trying to say is, see, you're running back to that that freaking construct of something has to be that's a right. way. And then what that's you right. would say is, it's it's okay not to like that you're being because what, what some the, people are being right. broke, they're being hungry, they're being scared, they're being frustrated. Like sure. like I don't, and, and I'm not the expert, but I'm I'm saying like. If I if I just sit there and be and I'm like okay yeah I understand that I can just be then I think to myself but I don't like sitting here doing nothing I'm bored yeah isn't that the constructs coming back saying exactly exactly that's yeah. that's what I've been trying to point out to you so that's just a new construct of what it would be to be right like if, if I just be how I'm going to brush my teeth how I'm going to pay my bills well the story the story is going to keep playing out yeah. it's going to keep rolling so you like you said you, you have to choose happiness the problem is choose happiness. If I'm stuck in the mind, then I'm still in the seeking, right? So the minute we're with our mind, we have to do something to have something to be something. So if I want to be loved, I have to do something to have the right relationship to be loved. Let's do have be. Yep. When it should be be, do, have. Exactly. Now, so let's fun. explain how to be so you can do, so you can have. Yeah. So. Now, tell me what they currently do. Folks, see if this sounds like you. Do, have, be. Yeah, so. You know, you wake up in the morning and you have a moment before you wake up and you can start to identify this tomorrow morning wake up. The alarm might go off or maybe something wakes you up. But before you fully engage the story of me, the lead in the movie, your movie, before you fully engage that, what I got to go do, right? Before you grab on, notice there's a moment. There's just space. There's just awareness. It's always here. Most people, right away, attention is into the mind. So now, now it's like, what am I going to do? What I need to get take care of, all based on that I will get these things that will give me fulfillment, right? So some people get past the material relationship or get great, like you know, my buddy was in the silver or the platinum section, Anthony Robbins. People got their money together, but they know the relationship part together, right? We see with celebrities, they have everything you can imagine, and celebrity, and they're depressed and hating themselves. So to start to recognize that you have a conscious choice of your relationship to the moment. Whether the moment is up or down. Whether the good emotions there or the bad emotions are there. There's a choice. There's a choice. And right now, on autopilot, the addiction is to the mind. And that mind will always do, have, be is temporary. Because then you got to do, have, be again and again and again. Without first giving your attention to where everything's coming from first. So you wake up in the morning and you start thinking, man, I got to I gotta get to work and I got to call those people. I got to get these deals closed. Yeah. Is this going to be okay? And then we go into what? So people right now in the world, what's going on right now? It's really important with COVID and stuff. What's going on right now is that the shadow is coming to light. Okay. Pedophilia. It's not like it wasn't there before. We didn't know about it, but now it's coming to light. Me too movement. But what COVID brought is the unknowns in everyone's face. So here's a simple question that I ask you listening in. Do you know for sure what's going to happen next in life? Do you ever know for sure what's going to happen for sure next in life, Brad? No. And that's reality. That's the unknown every moment. The ego mind, the body mind was a survival machine. And if we start to see that there's an operating system, like taking a brand new phone, pop it on the head, if that's really what the mind is, okay, if my attention stuck with that keeps me seeking and if seeking is suffering because i'm in seeking or fixing i'm denying that i'm already okay it means something's wrong with me and the root shame the root fear of everybody is that something's wrong with me so the nerve of the mind is i got to go do this to get it right and then the other thing says no you can't you suck what's the matter with you you're a piece of shit and then that war is in the mind and that's what i want you to explain the do so and then the have and then the be meaning if I do this work, right. I'll get this car, yeah. and then I'll be yeah. cool. Exactly. Right? So, right? Exactly. So, so it's already based on a postponement of being happy. So most people are thinking, I have to do this work, this, this digital marketing, this, yeah. I got to do this 
so I can have this, right. so I can be this. That's right. The greatest shift happened to me after all that spiritual seeking, all those experiences, the highs and all that, was the recognition that, when I said I don't believe my mind at all, was to recognize that all those things come and go, and they never give you lasting fulfillment. Ever. But lasting fulfillment, like you just said, is right here. It's all ready. So if we can have the skill to shift free from whatever the mind's saying, that 90% of regurgitation from the past, 70% negative, science says. So if we're caught up in the outskirts of a hurricane. Let's call it the hogwash. Yeah, the hogwash. And we're, so if you're in the outskirts of the hurricane. The hogwash. The hogwash, the chaos, the, the no order, the, the battling, the filth. Your mind's telling you, you're a piece of shit. No, I'm not proving yourself. Eat the Cheetos. The eat noise. Again. The noise, you're, 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 my husband sucks, what's wrong with me? I'm fucking up my children. No, I'm good, I got it all together. You go through your good high and then mind smacks you back again. I'll read the next thing, I'll do the next stuff. It's all seeking. It's all based on a postponement of fulfillment. But if we can have our core attention shift from being stuck in mind in the separation paradigm, survival paradigm, but actually to the direct moment to moment access or recognition of that gratitude of life being given to you, of receiving the joy, the love, the beauty, the expansion that you are alive. But again, not because a belief says, oh, I, I should be grateful I'm alive, like a mantra on the wall. Those are great. Those are stepping stones, right? Say your affirmations, those kind of things. Great. But the next evolution is where we stop having to believe the mind and we start to trust in this sense of our connectivity of what we really are. We start to discover who we really are and we start to live from that. Is it boring? No. So is it boring for an for a acorn to become an oak tree? It might be. It takes a long motherfucking time. Is it boring for a caterpillar to become a butterfly? Could. I don't know. I'd have to be the caterpillar. So, so But what would determine if it's boring or not? So to me, there's no such thing as boredom. Well, see, that's where I'm going because I fear... If I get too zen-like and too, like, oh man, all you, because everything you're saying, I agree with, and yeah. I, and I and I know technically that's the case. So that's why I said technically I could sit and stare out a window and be fine if yeah. I was mastering what you're saying. Right. But I don't want to just sit out a window. Like in other yeah. words, yeah. I do want that decadence. Okay, so 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 to me, our in the modern world right now, the realization of this it it becomes the greater expression of who you are. The optimal of who you are is what you will express. We're not off in some cave. I know, but I do want this money. People are like, okay, dude, don't worry about the money and don't worry about being in bed. I do want it though. Okay, so here's the thing. When you can learn to have a choice in the moment and not be run by the program of fear that has you to survive to get it someplace else in that paradigm, when you recognize being first, it's like give your allegiance to God first. Thy will be done. Right, in a Christian vein or a Catholic vein, right? Christ said, the kingdom of heaven is within. Thy will be done. So instead of buying into the manufactured, trained me that's based on the past and all the programming, mm -hmm. even my rebellion against that, that identity, that lead in the movie, I turn to trust that which is allowing freaking everything to occur in the entire world, the truest power, not into the concept of what God is, but into the direct experience that I am that I am, right? So in the Old Testament, Abraham, where are you? I'm here. Well, I am is a God, powerful, powerful statement. When God's asked that his name is ultimately I am that I am, have been, is, and always will be. Be, be. So the mind's concept idea of being can be a thing I wanna hide out in. So spiritual people get into that place where I can just be in this place of peace. Now, that was better than maybe depression in a life of hell, but they're avoiding the unknown again. Did you, do you realize that if you take I am, right? Yeah. I am that I am. I am that I am. This is what's called a haya. A haya, yeah. And you break this down to the very basics with the haya, knowing that that's a haya. And by the way, when you ever see karate guys break a board, they'll go, haya! <laughs> exactly. Because haya is is basically what's supposed to give power to the word to to guarantee its you know manifestation so i am i am literally breaks down to be be so basically when 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 moses asked yes. god 
who should I say sent me? That's right. He said, B. That's right. B. That's right. That's what that, that's what that, that's what he said. That's right. Isn't that crazy? And that's what it is. B. That's right. So, so the point is that the mind will always spiral back. So how, how can this be practical for anyone? Okay. 